Hi, welcome to Vocabulary Wednesdays, and I'm Chris with Magoosh, and today we have a set of very interesting words. They describe people. They may indeed describe you. Depends. Let's see what we have here. These aren't all positive words. This will be interesting. This is pronounced malingerer. Now there's a verb which means to malinger, and a malingerer, of course, is one who malingers. What does it mean to malinger? Well, notice the root mal, so it's probably not something good, and it isn't. To malinger is to pretend that you are sick. Why? Well, you want to avoid work. Aha, I see the light bulb going on. We've all, uh, probably at one point, maybe, kind of done this. <coughs> um, so, yeah, hey, sir, I'm feeling a little bit sick today. I don't think <coughs> I can come in. That's a malingerer. Now, of course, it's, it's, it's forgivable if it's once every few years, but there are chronic malingerers, those people who always pretend they're sick just to shirk or avoid their duties. So hopefully you are not a chronic malingerer. The next word we have is apostate. Hmm. Well, interesting word. It means to abandon your faith in a god, in whatever religion you may have followed at some point in time. Now, of course, many people are atheists, meaning they've never believed in God, or they're agnostic, and they're not sure whether there's a God or not. But an apostate is someone who has specifically said, ha, after all of these years praying, I no longer believe in whatever religious deity they've been praying to in all that time. Interestingly, Joseph Stalin, I always like this fact that he studied for years and years in a seminary to become a priest. And... Instead, he decided to become a dictator and he you know, ended up murdering millions, and we all know that from history, but definitely one of those interesting examples of apostasy, which is actually the noun form of, not a noun form, because apostate is a person, but a, a way of saying the abandoning of faith, apostate. Next, we have Philistine. Now, sticking to the religious theme here, if you've ever read the Old Testament, there's this epic battle between David and Goliath. David, sneak fellow, Goliath, one of the massive Philistines. And who wins the fight? Well, David, because he carries a slingshot, puts a rock in it, and fells the massive giant Goliath. Now, what does this really have to do with the story? Well, the Philistines were known to be these huge barbarians who really lacked any manners or cultural niceties. And so it shouldn't be surprising today that the word Philistine in somebody who dislikes, indeed despises the arts. They think, oh gosh, look at those people going to the symphony, dude, that sucks. That would be an example of a Philistine, or someone who says, hey man, the museum is lame. Philistine, so perhaps you are one. Who knows? Or maybe you know of a Philistine. And finally, we had people who despise the art. We had the Philistine, and I think it apt that we have the dilettante. Now, the dilettante is no master artist or master composer. Rather, it is a person who dabbles in the arts, who has an appreciation, who maybe can tell you, oh, yes, last month I went to hear a playing of Beethoven's Ninth Symphony or maybe a Beethoven sonata. But the dilettante, however, will never be able to really play that sonata or at least play that sonata well. That's up to the expert. So, again, a dilettante is one who appreciates the art. you'll, arts. you'll see them at the museum, most likely not standing side by side, the Philistine. And I'm guessing one or maybe even all four of these words, wait, that doesn't make sense because the Dil taunt and Philistine don't quite go together, but one or maybe a few of these words describe you. And I'll see you next week, and don't hesitate to check us out at gre.magoosh.com.